Hello, dear tech enthusiasts, visionaries, and lovers of disruptive innovation. Let me ask you a question. Show, have you heard the latest from Maxwell Chikumbuzo, the Zimbabwean inventor behind the world's first self-powered car, drone, motorcycle, and generator? If you thought his silence meant the story was over, think again. After one of his mysterious disappearances, Maxwell has re-emerged, and this time the tides are turning in ways no one expected. What he just revealed is sending shockwaves across the internet, a brutally disruptive truth about to hit the global automotive and energy stage. Dream no more, my people. The impossible man is here. The man the West tried to erase has resurfaced the very man whom's funerals, casket, obituary poster, and fake heartfelt condolence speech was already available. And God said no, not this one, is speaking directly to the world. Listen closely, he says, because this one statement is already shutting down conversations in science labs, energy, think tanks, and automotive boardrooms worldwide because they thought he could. Hi everyone, it's Maxwell Sanglanch Kumbuso here. Thank you for the concern, the love and support that you always show me. I just wanted to clear the rumors that I'm missing. I'm nowhere to be found. I'm very much alive as you can see. I'm just trying to work. I'm away on business, trying to work. That's all, but I'm safe and sound. He has been busy. Maxwell actually gone stealth mode underground, secretly bunker style to finish what he started. And now he's back with a promo package so outrageous it threatens to rewrite the rule book of energy forever. But before we unpack his promo deal and what it means for you, let's rewind for those who are hearing this story for the very first time. The journey they tried to erase. In January 2025, Maxwell Chikumbuzo didn't head to Silicon Valley or Europe like most inventors seeking recognition. Instead, he made a bold strategic move to the State House of Zimbabwe, the seat of power, where he showcased his groundbreaking innovations directly to President Emerson Mnangagwa. Why Zimbabwe? Why not America, Europe or China? Because he knows one cold fact. If you tricked your way into the presidential abode, you will come back in body bag. Your intention must be pure, honest and legitimate. That move is strategic. Let that sink in. Because history taught Maxwell something dangerous. The West does not reward disruptive genius. It buries or silence it. Let's go back to 2016. Maxwell and his team traveled to the US to patent his inventions. But when they presented their technology machines that defied conventional way of thinking or doing things physically, as it rendered the fossil fuels irrelevant, the Western gatekeepers froze. Instead of applause, he was told, UH. This invention defies the laws of thermodynamics. It cannot be industrially applicable. But here's the sinister twist. They didn't just reject him. They tried to force him into re-engineering his creation under Western scientifically proven tactics. That way, the secret could be quietly extracted, diluted, and buried. Maxwell refused. He knew the game. He knew what happens when Africa's genius enters the Western system. It gets stolen repackaged and sold back to us at overinflated cost. And then something darker happened. He and his team was poisoned. Thank God he lived. Most of his team didn't make it. They became a falling heroes we need to honor. For their bravely, Maxwell barely survived, losing a kidney to the attack. Three 
energy. This guy, Maxwell Shibutsu from Zimbabwe, he created a generator that does not use any power source. So this generator creates free energy using frequencies from the atmosphere. This one generator can power 300 homes. These two scientist guys went out there to test it and they're like, yeah, it's legit. And they're like, how did you know how to build this? And he says when he sleeps, he gets revelations from God of how to create these things. He says, this is how he told me to make it. But this dude has a target on his back. So he's been in prison in Zimbabwe multiple times. You're too know. smart. He came to the U.S. at one point and he was poisoned and almost died. And he cannot get any of his patents patented because if it defies physics, it cannot be patented. Imagine if everything goes black in the world and that's the only type of energy source that we can holster. Yeah, that's things. also a thing that AI couldn't affect. Definitely not. His groundbreaking invention has been secretly tested by two scientists from U.S., confirmed to be legit, like you heard the other content creators hinted in that short clip, and with survival came a vow to safeguard his invention by any means necessary, not through Western institutions, but by delivering it directly to the people, as not granting him patent is a strategic move to make his technology vulnerable for big automotive industries to steal by reverse engineering. On 10th February 2025, in a tightly secured and fully disclosed facility in Zimbabwe, Maxwell unveiled the impossible. Before both international audience and local, he presented a self-powered electric car, no fuel, no charging stations, a self-powered generator capable of running infinitely. A superbike designed with the same principle. A self-powered drone that could fly without recharging. Including the heart of the self-powered technology. The microsonic energy device getting charged inside enclosed glass without solar panels. No charging or fuel. It was indeed a historic moment in 2025. This wasn't theory. This wasn't a prototype hidden behind glass. These machines worked. As the matter of fact, these cars and superbikes were driven to the launching venue, not carried like show car or non-working prototype. The car was driven, tested and verified to operate without ever needing fuel or electricity from the grid which makes elite university in Zimbabwe to endorse this technology. Maxwell boldly declared, if you go to Kai Automotive right now, every cars they built is charged by DC or AC charging stations. Our all the cars that you know, if you go to Kaya right now, all their cars, you have to plug in either a DC charging station or an AC charging station. Our car is the first car. This is a generator. I think if you can go to the fridge, you can see. It's going to plug in and you will see that the fridge is going to be powered by a car. Like I said, you can buy a car. You don't need to have a generator at your home. You use your car. The car is the only car that will never need fuel or charging but power your home instead. Amid this video of unprecedented technology sparring out of control over the internet, the Western mainstream media went blackout on this invention as much as 99.99% of tech guys from Western world all over different platforms on didn't publish any video about this technology. A classic true color of both Western and Asians backstabbing of Africa uprising. Here is another crazier part. We started witnessing a new wave of destructive skeptics claiming Maxwell is a scam, his technology a hoax. We carried out investigation about this false claim secretly to uncover any hidden plots looking for hardcore evidence linking Maxwell to fraud 
And guess what? We found nothing substantial. The bombshells dropped. It was a deliberate attempt to silence one very technology that have unprecedented potential to set humanity free, fixing our climate change. For Western geopoliticals not adopting this tech but choose to fight Cold War speaks volumes of hidden agenda, further reveals a shocking realities about the aggressive push for EV is not about saving the planet from green gases, cut wool, but a strategy to control and enslave humanity. Maxwell audacious claims went even gravitational when he said, if you buy our car, you will never need a charging station, you will never need a generator. Our car can run infinitely powered by clean, abundant energy from the radio wave which I believe to be ether, removed from our periodic table. Think about that for a moment. Every car in existence today depends on either DC charging stations, AC charging stations, or fossil fuels, but not Maxwell's. His car taps into what he calls ether energy, an infinite, ambient, untapped energy source, erased from the periodic table to protect trillion dollar fossil fuel monopolies. For over 200 years, we've been indoctrinated into a single paradigm. All motion requires fuel. Maxwell shattered that obituary of thought. He proved we can tap into free cosmic energy an energy Tesla himself once theorized, but which was buried by industrial greed why this matters. Think about the ripple effects. No more fossil fuel dependence. No more expensive charging infrastructure. No more blackouts or energy poverty. A decentralized energy revolution where households, communities and nations become energy sovereign. This isn't just another EV story. This is a direct threat to the global fossil fuel empire the trillion dollar oil cartels and even the green tech industry built on charging stations and grid dependency. And that's why his invention is labeled too dangerous for Western patents. The promo that's breaking the internet. Now here's where it gets wild. Maxwell isn't just talking theory. He's rolling out a promotional package for early believers. Imagine this. A sleek, futuristic, self-powered electric vehicle that never needs fuel or charging. A 20 quad free energy power generator that powers your entire home or business forever. And he's giving them away in limited numbers. Here's the deal. Five lucky winners will receive a safe free energy electric vehicle, SVEV. 20 others will get a 20KW safe free energy generator. Sveb GM. That's not just a promo. It's the launch of the world's first decentralized clean energy revolution. This is your once in a lifetime chance to own technology the West doesn't want you to touch. A car that runs forever. A generator that kills the power bill. A future where energy is no longer a weapon of control. To be part of this revolution, email info at safetechnologies.com terms and conditions apply closing words what are you waiting for it's time to rise from cosmic ashes into celestial technology tech not defined by textbooks or controlled by monopolies maxwell chikumbuzo has returned and this time he's not just making history He's rewriting the laws of energy. The question is, will you watch from the sidelines or will you be part of the first generation to drive into a fuel-free, green?